On Tuesday, January 2nd, 2023, I found myself trackside at the Reading and Northern Railroad for my first chase of the new year, which was to catch the railroad's freshly painted caboose number 92851. The caboose was traveling on train NRHT, which transports hazardous materials from North Reading to Tanner Industries and Versa Materials in Tamaqua, Pennsylvania. Now traveling back to Reading for the day, it is identified as train HTNR. Caboose number 92851 is no stranger to appearances on this channel, as last year we caught it several times when it wore its Conrail paint scheme. In fact, I caught this caboose on the same job in June of last year. In this clip from that chase, we can see the purpose of using a caboose on this job, as the conductor uses it as a platform to safely stand on when the train shoves its cars into an industry. Back in the present day, the caboose has been repainted to match the red paint scheme of all the other cabooses found on Reading and Northern System, which pairs well with the red banded tanker car that's being transported today. Arriving at Muller Interlocking, HTNR receives a stop signal and idles on track 2 as it waits for the North Reading Fast Freight, or NRFF, to pass on track 1. Interestingly, caboose number 92851 features not only the Reading and Northern Diamond, but also the Fast Freight Service logo, which made this meet with Fast Freight Leader number 5018 all the more appropriate. With the fast freight out of the way, HTNR receives a clear signal and begins its move south to Reading.
Arriving in Mooresville, the train stops momentarily as the yard job of North Reading finishes some maneuvers on the main line south of Leesport. With a couple hours having passed since our first run by in New Ringgold, the sun has lowered enough to present a nice golden scene for our last run by of this chase. That's all for this adventure. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.